What's up, Tiger fans? It's Morgan here with The Morgan Thomas Show, back again with another five-minute video about your Clemson Tigers. Today, I wanted to discuss some portal news. I can't believe it. Clemson is actually in the transfer portal this year. Who would have thought that that would be a possibility? Now, maybe, just maybe, it's not a guy you thought that or dreamed of that we would be talking about today, but it's still a guy nonetheless that could be a practical addition to the roster for Clemson in 2023. Paul Tyson, a quarterback, former quarterback from Alabama, uh, former quarterback from Arizona State, just recently went into the transfer portal a few weeks ago from Trustville, Alabama, 2019 guy. So he is a grad transfer, former four-star guy, not the highest rated guy in the world, but he was a ninth overall pro style passer, six foot five, 228 pounds, very big frame and um, big presence there. One thing he is lacking though is on the field experience, only 10 completions and 150 yards passing in his time in college football so far. Considering he is a grad transfer, this seems to set up in the way that, you know, Hunter Johnson set up, where it would be a situation where the quarterback room needs that veteran, that that older, more, more um, developed and mature uh, player or person or leader in the group to add some perspective on life in general. Because right now, this quarterback group is going to be extremely young unless... Paul Tyson comes in and helps with that. So let's take a look. I got some screenshots here. I got a screenshot here of the roster. This is my way too early 2023 offensive side of the ball roster. You'll see on the left-hand side, you got quarterback, left to right, quarterback, running back, wide receiver, tight end, and offensive line there. You've probably seen it over on my Twitter account at the Morgan T Show. But if you look on the left-hand side, there's the quarterback list there. Hunter Helms is going to be a redshirt sophomore. He's literally going to be your most experienced guy, your, your most tenured guy on the roster because of the guys you've lost. There's no more DJ Uyunglele. There's no more Hunter Johnson. There's no more Billy Wiles. So you are losing three, bringing in one in Christopher Vizina. Now he is going to be a true freshman experiencing his first time in college. So he's going to be really, really green, right? Then you have Cade Klubnik, who's already had some trial by fire moments, put into the mix in the ACC championship game and came away with a win, but still somebody who is just a true sophomore. So of those three, those are the guys you have on the roster now. Then there is really one open spot. So whether or not you say, well, this is the guy I was expecting or not Clemson to go after, practically speaking, this is the guy you probably should go after. I know a lot of fans may not really want to hear that, but practically speaking, Clemson getting a, a an older voice, uh, a guy who could be a leader in that group and um, provide some you know experience, some wisdom over this time being at two different programs. He's seen you know, Alabama, and he's seen Arizona State, so he can give some perspective to the other guys, which I think is very important, not just for his influence in the quarterback room, but in his influence elsewhere as well. And then, not only that, if you're not familiar with Paul Tyson, his great-grandfather is Paul Bear Bryant. So he has, uh, you know, some a very famous great-grandfather, and uh, obviously it would make sense that Dabo Sweeney would have you know, a connection there with him. Uh, he was not offered by Clemson, from my understanding, when he was a recruit. But there is obviously a connection there with Dabo Sweeney being an Alabama guy, Bear Bryant being a famous, uh, you know, his, uh, um, you know, head coach for Alabama. So him being the the great grandson of of that coach, you know, brings some ties back into uh, the um, Crimson Tide there. So. You know, whatever will happen, we don't know if he's going to come with Clemson or not, or if he'll be a Clemson Tiger, but I do think there is a spot open for Clemson. Um, obviously, if you look at areas of need as far as like on the field production, <clears throat> now let's say Paul Tyson comes in and he plays that Hunter Johnson role 
where he could be the veteran presence, but also a guy kind of maybe grooming into that coaching, uh, future coaching experience type thing. If you look at positions where I feel like that Clemson needs somebody who's an actual, you know, somebody who could come on and, and potentially fight for a starting position, because in the quarterback position, you're going to want Cade and then probably probably Tyson might be your, your backup, but uh, until Vizina's ready, but Cade is going to be your guy, right? I'm going to say on the offensive side of the ball, <clears throat> I don't think running back is really a huge position of, of need right now because of who you have and because of who I assume Clemson is in good standing with to get in the 2023 recruiting class. So put running back aside, tight end aside, um, offensive line seems to be pretty good. Wide receiver could be one that I know a lot of people have talked about. That one is also, I'll pull it up again. That one is also one where you have three juniors. Will Taylor, you know, is he going to go to baseball or not? Brandon Spector, Bo Collins, those guys have been dealing with injuries. Troy Stilato dealing with injuries. Adam Randall still trying to recover from his ACL. And Antonio Williams. So outside, when you look at those six guys I just mentioned, there's really a lot of unknowns in those senior guys. And then you have a ton of redshirt freshmen, true freshmen guys there below them. So those are even more unknowns to the mix. So it might be good for Clemson to go in and look for a wide receiver in the portal. You know, I don't know. I've heard a lot of names out there. I don't want to speculate too much. Um, there's some guys from Charlotte and the 49ers that are in the transfer portal that are high up on the list in the transfer portal ratings right now that um, are from the Alabama and Dutch Fork area, two guys. So maybe those are some possibilities for the Tigers. We shall see. But again, this is a practical option for Clemson to fill a need at the quarterback position and, uh, again, replace that Hunter Johnson type role player for sure. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you surprised by this being the first one that maybe comes on the board for Clemson as a, as a transfer portal target? Or is this something that you kind of assumed would happen? I'd love to get your thoughts and uh, comments um, just put them in the comments. And hey, if you like this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel so you can stay up to date on all of my exclusive Clemson content I put out every single week.